which will be many years to come. But we'd love to have three voting locations, one in the south, one where we are now, and one in the north of the city that would be open all 21 days for early voting. And of course, on what what they used to call election day. Now we call it the last day to vote now. But um, we would love to, that's our goal, long-term goal and years to come. But right now we're trying to consolidate some of these election sites for a lot of reasons. One thing, the re one reason, main reason is, is because it's expensive. It's very, very expensive to run a polling uh, precinct. Um, on election day. You have to have anywhere from five to eight people that are highly trained. And the training, that's why we've got my uh, Matt on board, the training has become very um, strenuous. Well, I don't say strenuous, it's just become very important. Um, all these poll wor workers have to be highly trained because they use computers now where they used to go and flip through a book, if y'all remember, and find the name and that kind of thing. They used to do that. Now they don't. Now they, they have to work on what we call the express poll and find the names and, and issue the, the uh, create the cards for voting on a computer. So it is, it is uh, more, um, you do have to be more specialized. Um, so in saying that, People that, that used to help us out, like, like a lot of retired people, um, that kind of thing, no longer feel comfortable doing that. So we've had to go to a completely different mindset on people that we train and how we train them in order to get them up to speed for the state as far as being able to operate all of these computers that we need operated. Um, the three that, we have, that we've closed um, for, for right now are uh, J.C. Shack. Trinity Church and um, Wood Valley. Those thing, those particular precincts have just been, uh, we just we kind of took the city. It used to be kind of like circles all around and the different precincts were like that. Well, this time we kind of did them like a cone shape going out like that to, to in order to add the number of people to the best uh, polling places where we have the most room, the most parking, and, and whatever else we may need. Um, it, it's really, I think, going to really work well. We'll have more machines. We'll have um, more highly trained people. And don't forget the most important thing. What do we have now that we didn't have a few years ago? 21 days of early voting. And that's the most important thing. That's what's taken the place of all these precincts. You know, at one time we had 37 precincts in Valdosta. That's a lot of precincts, or in Georgia, in, state, uh, in the county, Lowndes County. That's a lot of precincts, a lot of people to train, a lot of stuff to maintain, a lot of um, places that you have to pay money to rent the facilities. Um, the 21 days of, in 2008, they, it was 45 days, if y'all will remember, and everybody kind of thought that was a little too long. So they have, they have statewide just changed it all to 21 days. Plus we have one to two Saturdays now that we're, we're required to have the precinct open. So that's one of the reasons that, um, that we are able to cut precincts down. We'd rather have everybody come and vote at our office for a lot of reasons. We know, we feel like we know what we're doing. <laughs> we don't necessarily trust everybody else. We, oh, we do trust them, but I mean, it's a, it's a training process. But we would love to have everybody come and vote for the 21 day, within the 21 days of early voting. The last week of early voting is always from 7 in the morning till 7 in the evening. And like I said, one to two Saturdays, um, depending on the, on the election, as, as to which Saturdays we have open. Also, thanks to y'all, um, mostly, we have um, rides, and y'all bring the people that normally, let's say, may have to walk to the precinct, which there's not much of that anymore. But y'all are kind enough to offer rides to people in the precinct, to the precincts. And the nice part about that is, and I have seen, especially Dr. Marks do it so many times, it's such a wonderful thing, He'll bring people to the, to the polls or even to register to vote. He stays with them while they do what they're going to do, and then he so happily and gladly takes them back and delivers them at home. That's a wonderful thing to offer anybody. And to have that for 21 days before voting, I mean, there's no reason that, that anybody that wants to vote can't can't come with all of these great things that, that are offered to them. We also have the um, voting by mail, which is, um, you know, f for anybody. They opened it up. It used to be just for the elderly and just for the disabled and the military. It's not that way anymore. 
Anybody that wants to vote by mail can. And that's what I'm in charge of, so I know that's done right. But <laughs> I'd like to think it's, I do my best. But anyway, so there's a lot of options open to y'all that, um, that, you know, to pass the word around. We also have, we got some handouts that we're going to show you, and I want to kind of just talk to you about this right here is called, and I know most of y'all have seen this, it's the MVP page. This is where that website is that you can pull up on any computer and you actually type in your name and address and it pulls up, or your name, and it pulls up everything that's about you. It's, it's a page that's just you. It tells you where, what precinct you're going to vote in. It even has your sample ballots that you can print out and fill them out, bring them to the polls with you when you come and you've got it there to do. To do. Or it, what, it gives the iPhone numbers, it just gives everything that you could possibly want to know about where you go, go vote and about what's on your ballot on this um, website. So we're going to put some at the table for y'all. Um, on the back of it, you're going to see where the, the only, the only um, election that we're having this year is the December 5th election. Remember that all, um, excuse me, not December. It'll probably, if we have a runoff, it'll be in December. But it's the November fifth. Thank you. That's I knew I brought him for some reason. <laughs> um, but it is. Um, it remember all odd years are city election years, even years are for state and presidential and all those other things. But all odd years are city elections. So this is an odd year. This is an odd year, and we have our city election in, in uh, November on November the fifth. On the back of that sheet is all the um, the actual races that are going to be open. Who holds them now? And the qualifying fees, because the next thing we'll be doing is qualifying, which will be in August. I've got it. It's written on here also. I have to put my glasses on to see it. But um, it, the actual qualifying is going to be from Monday, August the 26th at 8:30 through Friday, August the 30th at um, 4:30. So it'll be a week of qualifying. And these are the fees in case anybody's interested in running for any of these offices in the city election. So that's kind of um, might be interested, interested to, for some of you. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Also, one other thing that has changed that I want to tell you about is um, I don't know how many of y'all have ever run for office, but when you ask for different um, lists and that kind of thing, we, in the past we've been able to, for the most part, um, generate them on email and email them to you. Well, now there's going to be a charge, not from us, but from the state is making everybody go on the same plan. So on the back of this sheet, which is the list of the request forms of what you may, may want, like you may, if you're running for um, city council too, you may want an alphabetical list or a list by um, uh, streets, you know, so you can do your campaigning, and they, there is going to be a charge from now on. And on this, it you go, it just goes by the population. Like you wouldn't go for the county population in a city race; you'd go just for the population in the city, um, and it and it goes by that. So this is another interesting thing. If any, if you know anybody that's going to run for um, office or that's interested in it, um, there is going to be a charge from the that from the, the state is requiring us to charge this year, um, from now on. Uh, let's see. We'll be sending new precinct cards out in uh, July or August once we get, we've gotten the clearance from DOJ, but now we've got to go in there and change all the boundaries for the new precincts which is, is going to, like I said before, it was kind of shaped like this all over before. Now it's kind of shaped like this. And so we got to go in there and change those boundaries and get everybody set right for their new precincts. Then we'll mail out precinct cards. Remember, you don't have to bring your precinct card to vote. That's not necessary. That's, a, that's just a courtesy from the state of Georgia saying this is what your polling place is. But remember, your main polling place for 21 days is at our office. We would, we would love to be able to, like I said earlier, have three three voting sites open 20 uh well the 21 days and three locations it won't be in probably my lifetime but anyway um but what that is that's a goal long-term goal because of the fact that they do give us more time to to come and vote in so many fa other factors um but you don't have to have that precinct card but what do you have to have what do you have to have to vote a pictured id 
Remember that anytime you come vote, wherever you go vote, you have to have that. Um, let's see what else I want to tell you about. That's a, about it. Any questions on any of this? We've got a map that we brought, and it shows the new precincts. You, you're not, you can, you'll be able to tell, if, I mean, by where you live, you'll be able to tell maybe what precinct you're going to be in. It's a small map, and I didn't realize that the room was not any, you know, was not uh, lit, but any better than what it is. But anyway, you can, you can see the, if you want to look at it afterwards, I know you can't see a darn thing right here now. You can go out front and but, uh, and these, this is a list of the new precincts. That, well, we cut it down to nine precincts. We had 12. We cut it down to nine now. So um, the, the, none of the other precincts have changed. We've just consolidated those three. If I could just say a word real briefly. Uh, microphone. Oh, microphone. Um, uh, working at the polls has become, I mean, it's a rather involved process and so as I asked Dennis earlier if you know anyone who's interested in making some Christmas money and work in the November election please put them in contact with our office it's a long it's a rather involved process and the state of course takes the elections very seriously and they want us to adhere very strictly to the rules that that govern the elections and so we are trying to attract smart technically savvy people and Hopefully the same people might come back year after year so we're not always training from scratch. But if anyone's interested, please have them contact our office. Yeah, we, we would love to. Um, there's a, we have a training day. There's a day that he will be training um, that, that you're, that's actually required. And then the all day of the election, you have to be there at 6 o'clock in the morning. You don't go home till you get through which polls close at 7. So we'd love to have, um, you know, any of you that it would be interested in it. Anybody got any questions? Yes. Sure. And I understand your concern. And, 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 you know, we'd love for you to come in and, and, I mean, we can tell you, and I was going to answer a little bit of that. Um, and you said you, J.C. Shack, um, most of J.C. Shack is, gonna, is going to Northside Baptist now. So, it's, it, I mean, you're talking about 2.2 miles is all from that polling place to the one that, um, to, and it's a much better and bigger facility. Plus, we have the 21 days of early voting. Plus, we have the free rides to, to the polls. So, I, I don't think it. I don't think it will disenfranchise you at all. Um, you know, just from from looking at, at the perspective of what we're trying to do. Do what now? Uh huh. Well, the, the only thing we actually did a lot of it was we tried to follow some of the, the already existing lines, and instead of it, it, instead of it switching, going mostly you know out and taking in those, it mostly went down and took in more of the county is really what, kind of what it did. But come in, please do. I encourage you to because you know we we do want everyone to be happy with it, um, you know, with with what we've done, and we we. Would love for you to come in and, and ex we can explain to you. I, I really don't think that there. I mean, I want you to look at it, of course. It's but really more of a budgetary thing, reducing. That's one reason to. And, and also eliminating errors by getting as many people as possible to early voting. Yeah, our, our weakest link is our poll workers. The what now? The budget. budget. <laughs> there, there shouldn't be one. Why? Why would you think there would be one? Well, we haven't done it. We just got preclearance a week ago. So, I mean, the clearance to do it a week ago. We haven't cut anything as of yet. We're in the process of doing it now. So, um, you know, but we're going to have. We're still going to have the election. I mean, it's still. We'll put more people in the precincts. We just won't have as many precincts. Yes, sir.
Well, well, the, the reason for some of that is, we, for instance, we, we did change the one that was, um, um, I think it was, what was the name of that one that we changed? Um, it was the church over on Country Club. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but I can't right now. But one reason we changed that is because it was too small. It wouldn't hold the people, and there was no parking. And the, we were having, I mean, we were just, there was such a congestion at that precinct until it was just, it, it became a, a, just, it was just terrible. I mean, we had people that were falling, getting in the door. We had no no parking. It was just not a good precinct. That's one one reason that we did that. We've all, we also try to look for places that are big enough, like Northside, that can really take on a lot of people and a lot of cars. that have got those big parking lots. Um, but there again, 61%, 61% of all the people that voted in the last presidential election voted in our office. That tells you that there is a definite turn from voting, going the last day to vote, which is when you go to the precinct, or the 21 days before, or mail. So that's one of the main reasons. We can't justify having 36 precincts anymore when 61% came to our office and voted. Uh huh. So I guess one question I have is if you get down to three precincts, you're going to stop them closing the precincts so people can be two more precincts to go to? Frankly, it would be nice. We'd like to have it where you could go to any any of them that you wanted to, and vote. You would you wouldn't have a you wouldn't be assigned a precinct. You would go to any of the any of the precincts that we had open. That's what we're, we're we are really working towards is to where there's not necessarily assigned precincts, but where you can stop because most of the time you'll find out that people vote where they work, not necessarily where they live. Or or it, it, it's, there's a different uh, a definite trend in the way people are voting and what we're trying to do is to get people to vote at these if we had three places that were open 21 days and you could stop anywhere any of the three of them or, or five of them or however many we got to um, and vote at that one and not have to vote provisional but be able to vote at that precinct that would be wonderful well we're working towards that it's just that as, there's a lot of people you have to get on board and a lot of things that have to be cleared and a lot of people's input and that kind of thing Good. We'd love for him to. <laughs> we, we need all the help we can get because that, the, the way we are at the elections office is simply that we, we try to be so nonpartisan. We, we love all of you. And we, we're there to put on the show. That's, that's the way I describe it. We're there to put on the show. We want it to run the best, to be the best in the state, and to be able to do the best that we can do to make sure that everything is, is done on the up and up and right and it pleases everybody. And it's, it, it is a continually changing thing. And, you know, we're just, we do need input. We want input. We want y'all to tell us what you think. And we want y'all to, to work with us on things because that's what makes it work for everybody. Yes, sir. I think it's coming. I do. I, I definitely think it's coming. No, I, I, I don't know um, exactly how. The biggest reason now that we don't do it that way, that we can't do it that way now, is because of the way um, the system is set up. In other words, at where we are at our, at our, at our uh, office, we have all the precincts in a computer. And in that computer, when anybody comes in from anywhere in the Lowndes County, we can pull them up and vote them there. We don't have access, because of security reasons, we don't have access anywhere else or on the, just the internet to be able to do that securely at this point. That's what the whole holdup is. Do I think that's coming? Yes, I do. We already have it to a degree with the military. They started where they can actually, we can actually uh, send them um, we call it an EBD, it's an electronic, electronic ballot. We send it to them now and they can receive it, but they still have to print it off, print the envelope off. Sign, we have, still have to have that physical signature um, on it and they have to mail all that back to us. So it's, it, you know, it, it's in its infancy, but it hasn't, it, it's, it's not there yet.
Yeah, but they got more money than we do. <laughs> well, our are most sacred. They are. They are. Yes, they are. And I'll tell you something. We have probably the most, the best um, supervisor of elections, who is Deb Cox. And she, believe me, she would love to answer all of your questions. She is so knowledgeable on that, much more so than I am. And I, I you know, call her and talk to her about it, or me. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I do. Yes, uh, it's on. It's we're gonna put it on the tape. Yeah. Yeah, and we voted twenty about. Well, when we when we closed um, those precincts, the and I've got it on here on my notes that the you know two mile two point six miles two point two miles and three miles from Trinity, which was the one that that we had just closed, I mean that we had just opened and closed again, which you were talking about. Um, they, Trinity or, or Precinct Three, which what, what we call it, they're a high voting group of people. And they uh, need a big space, and a lot of them do. They